Well, hello everybody, Laura Trotty here, and thank you so, so much for joining me on this webinar today, where I'm gonna take you through the process of how to detox and simplify your cleaning with essential oils. Now, before we get started, I just wanna check that everything is working okay, because sometimes the techie stuff in webinars doesn't always go to plan. So if you could please type in the text box just to the right of your screen, if you can hear me, that would be, that would be great. Thank you so much. Now, just a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. Uh, there is a 30 second delay between when you um, type in the text box and also when I can hear you. So basically, if you're typing a question and it takes a little while for, for um, me to get to you, bear in mind that um, it can take a little while to see the questions or if I'm reading and going through my, you know, my content, but um, there is also that delay as well. So just pop in the text box now if you could hear, that would be great. And I will, yep, yay, great, Anne-Marie, Dawn, Rebecca, Amy, Sarah, Melissa, Donna, Megan, Megan, it's great to see so many on the call today. We do have a lot, um, quite a few hundred of people that have joined today. So I am a slightly a little bit nervous, but um, we'll just go through and I'll just pretend that I'm um, talking in a phone booth or something. So... You are in for a real treat now because I plan to share some of my best secrets on detoxing and simplifying your cleaning with essential oils. Now, if you've followed me for a while, some of these tips you may have heard me go on about before, but others might be totally, completely new to you. So regardless of where you are on your home detox journey or even essential oils experience, um, I just want you to know that you're going to love it and, um, and um, yeah, be be sure to interact in the chat group i've got um i've got someone on board um a lovely megan today who's just going to help me in that chat group as well just in case it gets a little bit too big so pop your questions in there we'll make sure that we we'll get to as many of them as possible towards the end of the webinar uh, i'll also just let you know that i live in a regional part of australia and we don't have high speed broadband yet and we're not going to get it for quite some time so if it Touch with this has never ever happened, but if it does happen, if my webinar connection just goes a bit crazy and I get booted off the webinar and my modem just shuts down, which it does happen a couple of times a week, never on a webinar, thank goodness, but I just want to word you up. If for some reason I get booted out, you will all stay in the webinar. So if that does happen, stay on the call, make yourself a cup of tea and just allow three to five minutes for me to get back on. I just wanted to let you know in case I disappear, it's, um, I will be coming back. It will just be, um, the joys of living in a remote area. But anyway, without any further ado, let's get started on today's call. Alrighty, so this is what we're gonna be covering in today's webinar. Firstly, I'll give you an introduction to essential oils and just why I believe that they're essential. Secondly, I'll share the four must, actually, I'm not gonna share four, I'm gonna share five. I'm going to share five must-have essential oils for your home cleaning routine and my best tips for how to use them. But before that, I'm going to just share why oils ain't oils. And we're going to touch on the difference between different types of essential oils and why I choose and I prefer to use therapeutic grade and just exactly what that means because there's a bit of confusion out there. And finally, I'm just going to announce a special offer to those of you who really want to learn a lot more about this topic and a lot of other topics in the home detox um, range of topics and, and detoxing and, and getting on top of creating a natural, clean and green home. And I will share, yeah, I will share a special offer and plus your chance to receive a free gift if you're listening to this webinar live. And lastly, I'll answer any questions you have about using essential oils in your home cleaning routine. Okay, so about me, I will touch on this a little bit fairly quickly because I know that those of you who have followed me for a while, you will know my story, particularly if you've come through the Home Detox video series. But just before I dive in, I just wanted to introduce myself to those of you who don't know me because you might be thinking, what does this girl know about chemicals? What does she know about cleaning, running a household, using essential oils, you know? What does she know about living in the real world where life gets crazy and, you know, kids don't sleep, which happened to me last night, by the way, both of my boys in my bed. But anyway, what, do, what does she know about this? So I just want to ease your mind and just tell you a little bit about my background. So basically, I, I'm an environmental engineer. So I started studying that 21 years ago this year. Um, 
yes, that's true. I am approaching 40. Um, yeah, so I started studying 21 years ago and I, that was a four year degree. I graduated with first class honours, um, just loved the material, uh, but still had a lot of fun at uni. Uh, I commenced my career at a large zinc smelter in Tasmania, where I was responsible for monitoring the impact of the 100 and year, 100 year old plus year old smelters activities on the environment and the surrounding community. And that's me measuring dust, actually metals in dust down on the Derwent River in, in Hobart. So, and also on people's health. So I worked there for a while doing a lot of the monitoring and reporting, really getting my hands dirty. And then I was transferred up to a brand new zinc and lead mine in remote Northwest Queensland, where I worked for four years alongside Indigenous Australians to assure, ensure that this operation and it was also a port and shipping operations in the Gulf of Carpentaria, that they operated well within environmental obligations, of which there was a lot. During this time, I started studying my Master's of Science degree in environmental chemistry, and I specialised in the way that waste rock from the mine reacted with water and air to, to produce basically, um, to impact local water quality in creeks and things. I won't go into too much detail there. I graduated from my Master's, um, but at this time, I was um, I was suffering from a lot a lot of migraines. So we're talking weekly, um, a couple of days a week. Generally, on the on my days off, I would be wiped out with um with migraines, which were a combination from a combination factors. Just really working a lot and very long rosters with um working long long days as well. But I also tracked it down to some of the foods I was eating and just my general lifestyle and um. And so I set about really cleaning up my lifestyle. So this was about the year 2000, 2001, we're talking. So I, I was eating fairly healthy already, but I switched to clean organic foods and I became vegetarian for quite a while. I, um, I gave up Diet Coke because I was drinking that. Shame on me. I was a girl of the 90s, teenager of the 90s. And I replaced chemicals in my living environment with, with safe and natural alternatives. So I was desperate and I would do anything to um, get rid of the migraines that were really dominating my life. And I really managed to, um, to get them from being a weekly occurrence down to once a year, once or twice a year, basically. So after that, about 10 years ago, I moved to where I live, 11 years actually this year, I moved to Roxby Downs in Outback South Australia to be closer to my boyfriend who I met at that remote mine site in Queensland. So again, I was working in a senior environmental role at the largest industrial site in Australia. Um, life was busy and we were trying to, um, we were trying to conceive, um, had a couple of setbacks there, but basically just really continued the journey, cleaning up our home environment and our diets as well. So. When I met my husband, he did not eat vegetables. <laughs> now he eats vegetables every day and organic ones as that. And um, yeah, so his transformation is another story as well. But he's fully on board with everything in um, in the environmental and eco living living sector. And there's that my two lovely boys, which we had Matthew in 2009 and Christopher 2012. So we're six and three now. Um, as I said, I was working in a very senior role at, at for working for BHB Billiton. And um, we were trying to conceive and we, we had, I had my first baby, Matthew, and um, yeah, just didn't want to go back to that environment. So I set up my very first online eco biz business called Sustain a Baby, which I've recently sold. It's, a, it's an online e um, retail store. So I ran that for six years working, really working with mums, helping to introduce a lot of mums to the natural and eco-friendly way of parenting. So, you know, cloth nappies and, you know, making you know, get weaning your baby the eco way and a natural way and all that sort of stuff, getting toxins out of your baby's nursery and all that sort of stuff. So that's a, that's an award-winning business in its own right, won some national awards and state awards as well. So I was really proud of that. But at the same time, I was working with a lot of mums and they were asking me a lot, how can we do this? How can we live more sustainably? What do you do in your own home, home, Laura? How do you clean it? How do you do this and that? And so I decided to start packaging up some of those questions and answers for people. So I've created a couple of online programs. One is Greenhouse, a home energy blitz, because I was I've also been a, a volunteer home energy auditor in my local community, helping people really reduce their home energy consumption. And my premium offering is a home detox boot camp where I really work intensely with a group with a nice community of, of mainly women to um, really break up with toxic chemicals in their homes. Okay. Take a breath. 
Okay, so here are some of the places where I've either blogged or been featured or I basically regular, regularly contribute. So um, I'm very passionate about eco-living and eco-parenting, as you can obviously tell. It's been my life for, you know, like I said, over 21 years. And even as a, as a girl and a teenager, I was very much into the environment and environmental protection. Um, but basically, I've got a weekly segment on ABC Radio 639 North and West South Australia. I've been featured on I Quit Sugar with Sarah Wilson, uh, guest blogged obviously for One Million Women, and I've been a regular writer for quite some time for My Child Magazine and Australia's Nurture Parenting Magazine, also on Pinky McKay's blog. Um, quite a few articles I've written there and Australian Breastfeeding Association and plenty of others that you can see. So basically I've been all over the web and the radio talking about eco-parenting or eco-living, which is to say the least that I'm truly obsessed with all things eco and natural. And that's why I'm so excited to share some of my best secrets with you that you can apply to your home to ensure that it's a healthy, safe, and eco-friendly place to bring up your family. These are strategies I use in my own home and hand on my heart, they do work. Okay, so why you're here today. Before I start chatting about essential oils, which I know is what everyone's here wanting to learn about today, I'd actually love to know where you're at right now with essential oils. What have you used them before? What ones do you have at home? Which essential oils do you currently use on a regular basis? And yeah, did you grow up using essential oils or is it something just totally new? Because essential oils have been a bit of a buzz phrase the last 12 months or so. A lot of people are getting into them. But yeah, just type in the chat box and let me know when you started using essential oils and what, what basically you're using. Bear in mind there's a 30 second delay. I'll come back in and check soon. Your answers after the next couple of slides. Okay, so let's just take a look at what essential oils are and why I think they're essential. Often referred to as nature's living energy, essential oils are basically just concentrated liquids extracted from ar ar aromatic, so nice smelling plants, including shrubs, flowers, trees, roots, bushes, and seeds. So these natural oils protect plants from insects, environmental conditions, and disease. Essential oils are all around us. So a very simple example is to just to take a lemon or an orange. If you've ever squeezed their peel and seen that liquid come out, that's the essential oil. Same thing if you've got a eucalyptus leaf for the Australians listening today. If you've got that eucalyptus leaf and you just squeeze it and you'll, you'll get that, um, that lovely eucalyptus oil and the scent of that. So when grown, harvested and distilled properly, essential oils have a wide array of uses and tremendous health benefits. And indeed, they've actually been a part of everyday life dating back to 4,500 BC. Just in uses such as perfumes and aromatherapy, through to cooking, cleaning and medicinal purposes. So that's essential oils in a nutshell. And I'm going to check in to the chat room right now and see what you're using them all for. All right. Danielle's using Thieves and Deep Relief Roller. Yep, want to learn more, not sure where to start. Michelle's just, yep, some, we've got a few Young Living fans here. That's great. Starter kit, want to learn about which ones to use. Oh, that chat box is moving fast. Uh, okay, someone's using them for perfume. That's exciting. I use them for perfume as well. Lavender, Tiffany is a big favourite for a lot of people and we're going to talk about lavender today. Lavender, Thieves and Lemon all the time. Sam, good one. Um, okay, so Lauren's been using them, but yet to really delve into home cleaning. Great. Peppermint, Tamara's using peppermint, lavender, serenity, lemon tea tree. Great selection there. I noticed oh, the comments are flying really fast, but I know uh, Donna uses lavender for washing sheets and towels. That's great. I, I, I do as well. 2009 Vicky, wow, you know if you, you'll know a few things about them. That's great. Okay, well, basically, it's great that a lot of people are using peppermint oil for headaches. Yes, Amy, same here. That is my favourite. The only thing, though, with peppermint oil, it's really um, not recommended to use during pregnancy, but you're right, I use it for headaches. And um, if I've got a nice therapeutic grade one, I also use it um, in my cooking. I make a really nice raw cacao slice with um, 
a couple of drops of peppermint oil so it's like a chalk peppermint slice but anyway i digress it's great to see that a lot of you're already harnessing them and using in your home so we're going to um chat a little bit more about oils now and go into just why oils ain't oils and i'll just have a mouthful of herbal tea because i'm not used to talking so much okay so oils ain't oils let's go so i'm just going to chat about now why the quality varies between different essential oils and just why i do recommend therapeutic grade essential oils okay so depending on depending what you choose to use essential oils for you you do need to be aware that there are some fake oils out there on the market and by fake i mean inferior synthetic and not the real deal so these might actually be oils marketed as essential oils or pure essential oils when they may not be that pure um, this is totally separate to fragrance oils fragrance oils are um, like i said they're a total separate category they're not essential oils at all they might be like a synthetic like I said, a fragrance oil, so not made necessarily made from natural ingredients. So we're not talking about them, but um, just be, be aware that some products marketed as essential oils may not actually be essential oils as well. Lavender oil, and I know a few people mentioned they use lavender oil. That is actually the most adulterated essential oil, and that's really just due to a huge demand, a huge worldwide demand, creating supply problems for many essential oil brands. So as a result, some brands are spiked with synthetics or just stretched with solvents. So although in today's webinar we're talking about using essential oils in cleaning applications where I guess you don't have to be as diligent, you could use um, an adulterated one I guess and still get some, you still get a good effect. But I just want you to understand um, if, if you're out there and you're using essential oils for topical or medicinal purposes, which a lot of people do and not necessarily with the best information as well, just to be aware that you really want to be using the top grade of essential oils if you're doing that so for example i mentioned that i use peppermint oil in my cook cooking i really want to be using therapeutic grade peppermint oil for that so which is which is a safe safe to consume um so just be aware of that so yeah ensure you're getting the real deal so for lavender that means buying the true lavender which is one of them is love should i pronounce it lavandula angustifolia um with oil which is obtained by steam distillation of the flowers or even better still just for peace of mind you opt for therapeutic grade and you'll never go wrong knowing that you have the you know the purest essential oils at hand okay so there is a significant difference between essential oils that look and smell good and those that are therapeutic grade so like all good things in life you do get what you pay for with essential oils so if if you see like a pure therapeutic grade oil on the market for like five dollars it's um you know that would ring my alarm bells is it really that pure and awesome for five dollars you know what i mean so therapeutic grade oils they generally do cost more than inferior versions but they're sourced from the right plants which is the true plant or herb not a hybrid or another form they're generally prepared in optimum conditions and and uh, so that's like low temperatures and pressures just to preserve the plant properties and they're 100% pure, they're unadulterated, they're uncut, free of synthetic, chemi synthetic chemicals, pesticides and heavy metals as well. And they're generally, therapeutic grades generally exceed world standards for potency. So that is that they're the most concentrated forms of essential oils around. And I'll chat a little bit later uh, about some safety concerns about essential oils, um, just because they are so concentrated. But you do want to be, um, obviously, if you are investing in a therapeutic grade pure essential oil you only ever really need one or two drops so you will be paying more but you will use less of it so it's one of those things where you know that you've got the quality and you can stretch out the quantity and it lasts a lot longer so in order to achieve therapeutic grade status essential oils must achieve industry requirements naturally without excess manipulation and refinement and meet specific criteria in these above four key areas so for plants preparation purity and potency all right so a lot of people do ask me what oils i recommend i get asked that question all the time and i know um, there are so many essential oils on the market i'm not going to go through all of them here because there's a lot of awesome awesome brands out there 
Um, but I like to be up front, front um, and I'll just tell you the ones that I use. Um, I do use Young Living essential oils. However, that doesn't mean to say that there aren't awesome ones out there as well. So I know doTERRA is awesome. Um, in Australia, I do also recommend Perfect Potion. Now, I use them a lot when I lived in North Queensland. Um, they were a big part of my journey when I was initially breaking up and like I said, cleaning up my diet and cleaning up that, the perfect potion shop in Townsville, I was a very regular customer. So their oils are awesome, as are 28 essential oils in Australia as well. So they're all organic oils as well. So, yeah, so basically there's a lot of different good brands. So I know there's a lot of people out there that which one's better, which one's better, all that sort of stuff. But basically if you're buying therapeutic grade oils and proper therapeutic grade um, like those ones, um, they're, they're, you can't really go wrong. So, yeah, so I do use um, um, Young Living. They're one of the purest on the market. They've, they've got a great range. Like I said, I live remotely, so it's hard for me to just pop to a shop. So I just get my oil sent to me every month and it works out really well for me. But, yeah, if you've got shops nearby or health food shops nearby that have a great range, by all means pop in there and support your local supplier and um, see what, you know, you can pick up locally as well. But, yeah, if you can't get anything great locally, Young Living um, definitely do cater for that. Okay, so yeah, that's Young Living. That's the ones I use predominantly in my home. But like I said, I do use Perfect Potion and 28 as well and love them. Okay, so now you know what essential oils are and you know that for the best results, you need to be investing in therapeutic grade oils. It's time to move on to the five must-have essential oils for your home cleaning routine and some of my best tips for how to use them. Oh, my slides are racing ahead. All right, so eucalyptus oil, it's one of my all-time favourite natural cleaners. I love the results I always get with it and I, I actually really love the smell. It just takes me back to summer holidays as a child when we used to go up into Victoria's high country, so around Mount Hotham. So it's made by distilling the foliage from eucalyptus trees. It's an excellent natural disinfectant, antibacterial cleanser and deodoriser, and can be used to clean every room in the house. My favourite application for eucalyptus oil is to clean and disinfect the toilet, believe it or not, and even just the toilet handle as well. Like if you're using a pure therapeutic grade oil, you can just put one drop on a, um, on a rag and just wipe over the handle as well. So at the same time to clean your toilet, it's just a couple of drops of the pure oil in the toilet bowl and scrub with a toilet brush. As I said, you can wipe the toilet seat and door handle with the eucalyptus oil spray or a couple of drops of the oil on a clean cloth and you're done. Just note that tea tree oil has similar disinfectant capabilities and can be used in similar applications. And both of them are also good for septic systems as well because it is um, fully biodegradable as well. Some other ways I use eucalyptus in my home include as an ingredient in my homemade wool detergent. Oops and as an air freshener in my toilet, just with a spray, and to remove sub, this is a great one for mums, remove stubborn stickers from wherever my kids decide to place them. And they always sticking them on the mirrors in their bedrooms, you know, like in the walk-in robes and mirrors, um, there's, there's stickers and you pull them off and it leaves that thing. Eucalyptus oil is the best thing for getting rid of that. Okay, number two, lemon essential oils. It's extracted or derived from the from the rind of lemons, as we discussed before, when you squeeze the lemon and you'll see those drips of oil come out, that's the oil. It takes 3,000 lemons to produce one kilo of this amazing stuff. <laughs> um, it also, lemon oil contains D-limonene, a powerful antioxidant. It's also anti-infectious, antibacterial, antiviral, antiseptic, and a disinfectant. It's like anti-anti. <laughs> Cuts through grease, so it's awesome in the kitchen or if you're cleaning your oven or stovetop. And it's a natural mood enhancer. So if you're feeling a bit flat and you've got a diffuser, why is my screen racing ahead? Um, just by diffusing lemon essential oil, you can really help lift your mood. And, um, and like a pure therapeutic lemon oil, you can also use it um, like just a drop in water and, you know, you can use it. There. But we're not talking about that today. We're just talking about cleaning. But lemon, lemon oil has a lot of applications as well. I love it and I really love the scent. So some of these cleaning uses a homemade multi-purpose spray. So you could just, if you had a little glass bottle, you can um, 
have some obviously pure filtered water and a couple of drops of lemon oil. Just remember you never need need much and use it as a, as a spray. Um, if you mix a couple of, uh, a little bit of um, liquid castile soap, that'll help keep it in emulsion as well. You can use it in your dishwasher, a couple of drops as a rinse aid. Um, it's a great deterrent for spiders. So just popping one or two drops on the end of a broom and sweeping around um, cobwebs and things like that will help to, to deter spiders, particularly at entrances to your home or if they're coming under the garage door and things like that. And disinfecting, um, gee, this presentation is racing away from me. Um, it removes crayons and glues from most surfaces, a little bit similar to uh, eucalyptus oil, but it's also good for crayons. And disinfecting dishcloths. I often leave my dishcloths in the sink overnight just with some water, a couple of drops of lemon, and obviously I'll wring them out and dry them as well. Um, it just helps, because I said it's, a, it's an awesome disinfectant. And you can also use it when mixed with, um, you can use it for a natural wooden furniture polish. So basically used with some olive oil and lemon oil is fantastic for wooden furniture. So you, all it is really coming to add, say if you had half a cup of olive oil, you can just add several drops um, for the best, it's the best polish for wooden furniture. Okay, I'm just going to have a quick look at the chat box because I haven't looked there for a little while. I'm just racing ahead. Okay, so people are just asking copies of slides. Yes, you should be able to, you'll still, even if you're on the webinar, you'll get a link to the um, to the recording where you can go over anything if you want to um, take some more notes or, or have a look more. Okay, so we've gone through lemon. Now on to clove, another big one. So we're almost halfway through. So clove oil or cl oil of cloves, as it's often referred to, is an essential oil extracted from the dried flower bud from the clove plant. And I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. It's nature's richest source of eugenol, the highest scoring single ingredient tested for its antioxidant capacity on the Aurox scale. It's antibacterial, antiviral, antiseptic, and a disinfectant. So basically clove oil kills germs. <laughs> it kills fungus, bacteria, viruses. Um, it's, yeah, it's a powerhouse when it comes to, um, to the cleaning. Now, those of you who know me well know I go on and on about clove oil at, as it was the essential oil that really helped me break up with chemical bleach for good because it removes mold, unlike um, commercial chemical bleaches which just bleach it and turn it white um, and actually feed continue to feed that what um, causes a bleach to grow this presentation's got a mind of its own <laughs> I'm not touching them they're just going ahead so clove oil deters moths and other insects and one way you can actually make your own moth balls is just by with a cotton wool ball and just just um popping a few drops of clove oil in it and just popping it into your drawers and, and around your cupboards and things like that, popping them there once they're dry. Clove oil and indeed many other essential oils is also great at improving indoor air quality. So if you do own a diffuser, just place a couple of drops of clove oil in and you can diffuse for 20 minutes to remove all airborne bacteria, viruses and mold spores from the air in your home. And if you do this, you'll also have the added benefit of keeping moths out of your home too, because as I mentioned before, it is a deterrent for moths. Now, just a little bit of word, word of warning. Again, on, uh, as I said, you, I'm rec talking about cleaning today and a lot of, and I will can talk about this more in the Q&A, but safety concerns for clove oil, because it, again, like all essential oils, it is very potent. There is... Um, I have been obviously in a lot of discussions with the poisons um, unit at the actually the women's and children's hospital in Adelaide, talking about a lot of the uses and applications of essential oils, particularly during pregnancy, because a lot, a lot of um, a lot of my followers are mums of young children or they're pregnant or breastfeeding. So, clove oil. While we're just using it in cl in cleaning, it's it's okay, you know it's fine a drop here or there and just spraying is fine but just bear in mind that it's it is very concentrated and clove oil can be a uterine stimulant so you don't want to be applying it directly to your getting it on your hands you know in concentrated amounts um, while you're pregnant just as a, just as a safety precaution but like a drop in a diffuser or you know 
When you're making the mold spray in your bathroom, and I do recommend a quarter of a teaspoon of oil to one liter of water, no, con the more concentrated you make it, the less effective it is at killing the mold. So just that quarter of a teaspoon to one liter is a great mold spray. So all of that is totally fine, but just one word of warning with essential oils. You don't just want to be slathering them all over your body. You know, one or two drops here or, the, here or there is fine. Not that I'm wanting to concern you, but there are people that go out there and just say, yeah, every, you know, essential oils are fantastic and they are fantastic, but we do still want to treat them as the very, very concentrated products that they are and and use them accordingly with, with safety and that is locking them away from kids and things like that. All right, back on the fun stuff, lavender oil. I know it's many people's favourites. It's been mentioned throughout history over thousands of years for its medicinal and culinary purposes. Its essential oil is obtained from the steam distillation of the flowers of the Lavandula angustifolia for the good one. It's often called the Swiss Army knife of essential oils and that's just simply because it's so versatile and has so many uses. So when in doubt, use lavender. Now, um, again, we're talking, we're talking cleaning. So it's a mild cleaner and deodorizer. It's a natural insect repellent and it has strong relaxing qualities, which most of us will know, like when you're having massages and things like that, it's a very popular oil to use. Um, I actually used it with my six-year-old son two nights ago who just, it was 11 o'clock at night, he was still not wanting to sleep. So we um, we use some lavender to help relax him and, and get him to sleep. He calls he calls them his magic oils. But yeah, it uh, did work and he um, he slept well after that. Back to school is always fun, isn't it? So back onto cleaning though. My favourite uses for lavender essential oil include as a carpet deodorizer. So I simply place a couple of drops in a container of bicarb soda or it's also called baking soda and I sprinkle the soda on my carpet. So after an hour or so, you can even leave it longer. So if you don't have kids at home, if you've got a few hours to just let it sit, the longer the better. So leave it and then vacuum it up thoroughly and you're left with refreshed carpets and a really nice smelling home. Now I know someone in the chat box mentioned using lavender in their laundry <coughs> and that's a really popular one too. You can just add a few drops to your rinse cycle when you're washing your sheets especially or even just with some distilled white vinegar and which is an awesome natural fabric softener and just some, you know, lavender oil to just take that smell not that not that if you use vinegar you don't, you don't end up with your clothes don't smell of vinegar but you can just have that nice lavender smell as well going to sleep on sheets that have some lavender essential oil in them helps to promote a deep sleep goodness this is just running away and while it's not entirely cleaning lavender oil is great at deterring flies and mosquitoes or mozzies for the aussies listening so i do this by just diffusing lavender you can just do it by diffusing lavender oil throughout your home or you can make up a spritz with water and lavender and just spraying it on your skin now lavender oil is one of the oils that is you know it's if you're using that nice pure one you can um it's it's okay to have on your skin and that's obviously using lavender oils a much more gentle and safer option than commercial insect repellents that contain nasty and toxic um deet D double E T, which is N N Di Ethyl three Methyl Benz Amide, and nasty, nasty stuff. Okay, the last essential oil for this morning's content is Thieves Oil, and this is a Young Living blend. Um, I know DoTerra have a similar blend called um, On Guard, but this, but Thieves is um, a very, very versatile, very effective, very popular very very good oil to have in your cleaning kit so the blend is based it's actually created based on the historical count of four thieves in france who protected themselves from the black plague when it wiped out thousands and thousands of people um you know obviously a couple of centuries ago so they protected themselves with cloves rosemary and a lot of other aromatics while robbing the victims of the killer disease so people had died so these thieves would protect themselves with these herbs and go into their house and and loot basically they were finally captured and they were offered a lighter sentence in exchange for their secret recipe because obviously the police wanted to know how come these guys weren't getting sick so the blend includes clove cinnamon bark rosemary lemon and eucalyptus radiata oils and it's been specifically blended to offer the same kind of defense 
as those aromatics did for those thieves back in France in the in the time of the Black Plague. So thieves has been universally tested and it's really well known for enhancing people's well-being and health but in particular because it's so highly effective against airborne bacteria but it's also so when it's diffused for the air so we talked about diffusing clove before thieves oil does contain clove but it's also got some other things that are great at purifying your air and also boosting your immunity it's a versatile oil with many many home cleaning applications as well and it's got a really nice smell. It's almost, um, because of cinnamon, it's almost a Christmassy smell, you could say. Um, but, yeah, here's some of the secrets of these or what it's good for. It's good at removing permanent marker stains, um, just a couple of drops on a cloth and, and trying. It depends, obviously, on the surface. Permanent marker on wood is not very easy, isn't really, it's a lost cause, basically. So I've got my kid's wooden table and nothing is going to get permanent marker out of that wood. But, obviously, if it's on on a fridge or a wall or something like that give um, thieves oil a go and what else we got you can use two to three drops to clean water to rinse some fresh produce because it helps get any chemical residues if you're buying apples or things that's got wax or non-organic foods um, diffusing through your home as we've mentioned to protect your family against mold spores and boost your family's immunity it's pretty awesome oven cleaner now young living actually have a product called the Thieves Household Cleaner, which is even better using in the oven. But some of my home detox participants didn't have that and they tried just using the Thieves Oil. So a couple of drops in a ramekin of water, so a couple of drops of Thieves Oil in a ramekin of water, baking it in the oven for about um, 20 minutes or so. It puts a really fine mist on the oven and then you wipe that off and basically all the grime just wipes off with it. It's pretty amazing. You kind of, one of those things that's going to be seen to be believed. Um, and yeah, it's just, as I said, it's great at killing heaps of bacteria, viruses and everything. So just applying it to a cloth and wiping over any areas that need sanitizing is awesome as well. And we've talked about diffusing. So in short, Thieves Oil has been one of those oils that's really transformed our home and our lives. And since, um, yeah, so I use it a lot in cleaning now, but I also just generally diffuse it through the home just to help, um, you know, help with our immunities and things like that as well. When I leave town, um, I take most of these oils with me, but I never, ever leave town without my thieves. Um, yeah, just because if I'm staying somewhere, I need to disinfect something and lemon too. But thieves, if I if I don't have much room and I ever came down to taking one oil with me, thieves is the one that I take. Okay, so that is my five must-have essential oils. Now, You've probably picked up that I am just a little bit passionate about this topic and I can talk for hours and hours and hours, but I wanted to only keep you here for about an hour here today and also because I'm running this webinar again later on today, so I've got to preserve my voice. But I'd love to really show you how you can use plenty more, more oils and not just oils in your home cleaning routine, also a lot of other natural products that I have in my home detox toolkit to improve your health and well everyday living in your home, reduce the waste from your home and just create a nice clean sanctuary because at, at the end of the day, that's what we want our homes to be, a sanctuary away from the modern living and all the toxins in um in our society, which I know about very well because I used to monitor all the air quality. So what I want to ask you now is a very important question and feel free to type in the chat box. I just want to ask, what's the vision you have for your home environment? What do you want your home to be like? What do you want it to be known for? What do you want your friends to feel when they come and to your home and visit you? How do you want to feel when you walk through the doors of your home after being out all day? Now, so yeah, so type in the chat box how how basically what your what you want your home to be like and how it would feel if you had that. Maybe you have that now. That would be awesome. Now, how would it be what would it be like if you could create this with ease? How would you feel then? And after today's webinar, can you see essential oil supporting this vision? So let me have a look. Natural, healthy, safe, clean, Anne-Marie, fresh, Amy, Hannah, natural as possible. Um, we've got heaps of people saying I love thieves. Clean, safe, happy, clean and germ-free. Yep. 
we can talk another time about why some, not all germs are bad germs. We do want to not kill all our germs. Non-toxic, warm, welcoming, a sanctuary. Yep, that's a great, yep. Less chemical home, Carol. You work from home, same here. Same. No synthetic smells, earthy, clean, natural. Great one, Kim and Kalaya. Yep, everyone's on the same path. This is great. Clean, fresh scent. Awesome. Hey, the presentation is running away. Okay, so basically after today's webinar, can you see essential oils helping to support all these visions that you have from your home? And if so, it's time to step up your home detox. And I'd like to tell you about a very special program that I've created that will help you achieve your chemical-free home. So basically we all know that our homes are very own living environment. It's not the right place for toxic chemicals. And yet there are new products all the time that pro promise the world yet don't tick the boxes for our own health and that of the environment. And that's why I created the Home Detox Bootcamp. And I say that there's new products all the time because there really, there really is. And I'm one of those people I like to test a lot of the new products. And um, so I know what I can recommend. I don't ever recommend anything I haven't used myself. And I actually tried a new kids shampoo. I ordered one to test it. It was all promised, all natural and everything. And it turns up and I flip over the ingredients. And I'm like, great, it's got synthetic fragrance in it and parfums, which is a known endocrine disruptor. But anyway, this was a product that promised the world and it did, didn't deliver. And that turned up in my home three weeks ago. So there are products out there all the time. And that's why I created Home Detox Bootcamp because I really want to help people just, just cut out the crap and just get down to the basics of clean, natural living. And this program's the ultimate cause for you to remove um, toxic chemicals from your home and create the chemical-free living space you desire and you deserve. So essential oils, which we've talked about today, that's just only one of the tools I have in my, my home detox toolkit. And it's not just cleaning. Are we... Um, it's, it's other ways that I live in my home and, and reduce toxins. Cleaning is obviously a big part of it, but it's just one piece of the pie. But in the Home Detox Bootcamp, I share all of my home detox secrets with you, including all the other products I use and how I use it and particular recipes. So this Home Detox Bootcamp is truly unique and I know you're going to love it because everyone that's already gone through the course has and I do improve the content and add new guest experts and add, add different things every time I run the course. So in this program, I teach you how to reduce the toxicity of your home, be it breaking up with chemicals in your bathroom, laundry, kitchen, beauty cabinet, or even pest control, or improving your indoor air quality, or reducing electromagnetic fields in your home. There's quite a big list of topics, but you'll learn how to replace products or the way you're currently doing things with safe, effective, and natural alternatives. And there's always different options so you can pick an option that appeals most to you that sometimes there might be up to three or four options um yeah or recipes for a particular task so it's so important to realize it's not just about simply replacing your existing chemical products with eco products which is what i did many years ago and then having a household full of commercial eco cleaning products for example some of them are fantastic and i will put my name behind some of those brands that are but it's also really good to get right back down to basics and know how to make some of these yourselves, especially from some ingredients that you might already have on hand in the pantry. So a lot of the ingredients you need are just readily accessible, cheap, natural products to, to tackle everyday cleaning tasks in your home. So I'm just going to take you through very um, succinctly what the Home Detox Bootcamp looks like and the different modules. So in module one, it really is a nice over, it's an introduction module because some people join at the very last minute and it can take a little while to, you know, everyone getting settled in and getting access and everything. But in this module, I provide an overview of chemicals found in our homes. We talk about the health and environmental impact of common household chemicals and some natural alternatives as well. So this is the week where you go out there and source a lot of these natural alternatives. So you're all ready for week two when we start mixing. And we head straight to the powerhouse of the home, which is obviously the laundry, especially for those of us with young kids or with grandkids that come over a lot. So we talk about, I talk about the chemistry of washing clothes. As you know, I've got a Master's of Science in Chemistry, so I do like to provide some of the background behind why things work the way they do as well. And I cover, I talk, obviously I'll talk about the importance of surfactants, the roles of enzymes and builders in commercial detergents, 
and alternatives to commercial laundry detergents. So you'll be making your own laundry cleaners like laundry powders or liquids if you prefer, wool mixers, fabric softeners, stain soakers and stain removal sprays. That's Module two is, is the most popular module of the course. A lot of people love it and they get results straight away um, with this module and, there's, and saving straight away because it's really cheap to make your own laundry products. And as you know, commercial ones, particularly the, the premium ones, are really, really expensive. So in module three, we go into the kitchen. We cover germs in the kitchen, how the, where they're found, how best to deter them. I talk about our love affair with plastics and a lot of small steps you can do to reduce um, your exposure to some of the toxins in plastic. And we will be making your own natural kitchen cleaners. So dishwashing powders and dishwashing liquids, cleaning your oven, cleaning your kitchen appliance as well. So things like your coffee makers and stuff like that. If you have a coffee maker, because I don't, I'm not a coffee, my husband and I don't drink coffee, we're, we're tea. Um, but I digress again. Um, module three will actually have, um, will be visited by naturopath Jessica Donovan, who will just um, on a separate side topic, talk about some ways that you can clean up your diets. And also, I haven't got, actually got it written there, but Bill Statham, the author of The Chemical Maze, who is actually featured on my podcast this week, going up later today, but he'll be sharing and making himself available to the home detox community. Any questions you've got on um, additives and food preservatives, in your diet um, especially, but also in some um, beauty products and everything as well. He's a very well-known researcher um, and, yeah, that he'll be making himself available to our home detox community as he does every time I run the course. In Module 4, we go to the bathroom and toilet. We look at problem areas and cover natural alternatives for mould, moving mould in your shower, bathroom and cleaning Sorry, my slides and window cleaners as well. How to clean your shower head and remove the lime scale naturally. Module five is a nice broad module for all those bits of around the home that we can't really just snap into a certain room. So it's also things like cleaning your windows, your floors, your walls. We talk about electrical contamination from Wi-Fi and electronics, which is a really new area of science. And um, well, the person that's really spearheading that in Australia is Nicole Belsma, and she she the, you'll get access to a guest interview that I have with Nicole, where she shares her best tips on how to reduce your exposure to the el electronic radiation in your homes. But she also makes herself available for questions as well. And that's a sorry, module five is also a big one where we talk about dust, which is one of the main um, causes of environmental allergens in our homes as well and leading to asthma and things like that so best ways to get on top of your dust module six we touch on pest control and so things like natural ways to deter moths ants, spiders silverfish and you'll be making your own personal insect repellent as well now the home detox boot camp's just not complete without taking a look at what we feed our skin day in and day out and in module seven beautiful you beautiful earth we cover natural personal care Basically, our skin is our largest organ and readily absorbs the chemicals we feed it. So we'll talk a lot about natural alternatives for products such as shampoos and conditioners, and you'll have the opportunity to make many personal care products, including your own body wash. And we've visited by another guest expert, Jody DeCurado, and this round of Home Detox Bootcamp, I haven't got a hip, I've confirmed a new secret guest expert in this topic as well, who's one of Australia's leading experts on natural deodorants. And that's all to be revealed in a couple of weeks. I'm, I'm interviewing her in a couple of, week, couple of weeks' time. And the last one is a real module to wrap it all up. So living chemical-free, the way for life. So we talk about safe and correct disposal of chemicals you no longer need or no longer want to use because you're all enlightened at the end of the course and tips on how to manage the temptation to return to old habits and also get all your friends and family members on board so they just don't think you're some crazy person with, um, yeah, <laughs> wild ideas. All right. Now, it wouldn't be a fantastic program if I didn't also include some really good bonuses. So first, which is quite unusual for a course in the wellness area, I guess, you do get lifetime access. So once you invest in the Home Detox Bootcamp, 
it's it's you you've got it for the lifetime that I run the course and I, I have no I'm telling you now I've got no plans at all to axe this course it's going to be around for a while so you've got lifetime access to the to the membership site you've just got your login so you can get in there get all the in recipes um any free updates you've got also access to a, a community forum so free updates and you'll also have access to direct support from me for forever basically um so and that also includes free updates and you know new content and new guest contributors that i bring in over time as well so the lifetime access is what a lot of my home detox grads say that they love the best about the course namely because they don't have to if life happens and they do get a couple of weeks behind they know that oh my gosh in two weeks time i'm going to get booted out and i've got to quickly download everything and all that sort of stuff you've got you know there is no behind you can just go at your own pace um i recognize that detoxing your home is a very big journey for some people especially if you're right at the start of it and there's a lot of things to change and new information comes out all the time and it is a life it's changing a lifestyle that can take time so home detox boot camp is here to to be with you for that whole journey and a couple of other awesome bonuses the sos stain guide a lifesaver in the laundry and the home detox recipe index which is basically in the home detox membership website you can just access the recipe index and you can search and print off all the different recipes okay i mentioned some of the guest contributors because these are the steak knives basically not only will you have access to me during the home detox boot camp but but you're we're also joined by a list of highly acclaimed and a growing list of guest contributors who share their knowledge and make themselves available at set times throughout the eight weeks that I run the course. So they're not there every week for you to tag and ask a question. Basically, once during those eight weeks, these guest experts pop into the forum and make themselves available to answer your questions. So we've got Dr. Natasha Andriadis, one of Australia's leading fertility specialists, Jessica Donovan, an awesome naturopath, Bill Statham, the author of The Chemical Maze, Jodie DeCrado, she's a natural beauty therapist, and Nicole Belsma, a building biologist, best-selling author and founder of the Australian College of Environmental Studies. Okay, so just what, you don't want to hear it all from me, here's just a couple of our Home Detox grads and what they're saying. So Amanda McLeod says, I've absolutely loved this course and recommend it to anyone who's wanting to listen. And Amanda actually went through the very first round like 18 months ago, so she said this after before there was even a membership site and everything. So she said the course is practical and the changes once implemented are very easy to adhere to. Once you've embraced the home detox way of life, you'll never look back. Cool, so let's get down to nitty gritty. So I wanna ask you, what should this program cost? Because when I was originally putting the program together, I asked all my followings and I surveyed them and I polled them and I said, what would you pay for this program? And so many of them said in the high 400s, they actually said that's a great price for all the content included, especially because it's so much how to and you've put so much, you've got a lot of experience and training in this area and that the program literally shows us how to create a healthy home and that's invaluable to us plus the lifetime access they loved. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to make sure it's available to anyone that really wanted to dive in. So I've decided to charge 349 for the course, which includes lifetime access in the custom built membership site and closed Facebook community, access to all the modules, workbooks, videos, recorded training slides, recipes, bonus e-guides, contributors, and me. But the really cool thing is I just wanted to make it a no brainer for you to sign up and get the eco-friendly healthy home that you really want. So for a limited time, I'm offering the Home Detox Bootcamp at the low early bird special rate of $249. Now this is $249 Australian dollars. So if you are in the US, at the moment, it works out to about $175. That's lifetime access, that's everything. So I know US people, you can just clap and be happy about that and if we're buying anything in the US in Australia we cry but yeah basically that's I know there's a lot of people from the US on this call so that's a hundred roughly 175 for you guys um there is a payment plan available and this special for 249 dollars um Australian is just around for a week so it's closing on Thursday the 18th of February 
the payment plan, um, it just breaks it down to three payments of $89, three monthly payments basically. Um, so if, um, if that $249 is a stretch for you, you can spread it out over three months. Okay, so let me just get what people are saying again. So I'm clicking on my wrong slides. So Trina Basula, again, one of our earlier detoxes, um, probably in the second round, I think. So Trina says, when she saw the free dishwasher powder recipe on Laura's Home Detox Cheat Sheet, I had to try it. To my absolute surprise, it worked and it worked brilliantly. The dishes were clean and the kitchen smelled amazing, fresh and lemony. lemony. I d decided then and there I had to join the Home Detox Boot Camp. So Trina worked out how much she was spending on dishwater, just dishwasher tablets alone and how much the dishwashing powder would cost and the savings on the dishwasher powder alone more than paid for the course and she came in very late and paid um, full price so Trina was um very quickly worked out how much she saved as a lot of people on home detox have worked out um they've saved a lot in fact one member um was reducing her monthly groceries by hundreds of dollars um from just from taking a lot of the principles that we're teaching in the home detox boot camp Okay, now here's the deal. You'll need to go to homedetoxbootcamp.com to register for the Home Detox Bootcamp. I also have a very special bonus for those of you on this webinar live. So the first 10 people that are joining live on this call right now will get, I will post out directly to you a free Young Living Lemon Essential Oil as a special welcome gift for me. I love people that take action. I'm an action girl myself. So if you're going to take action and say, yes, right now, I'm rewarding you with that. So the first 10 people on this call, I will be um, popping to the post office tomorrow and sending 10 lemon essential oils out to you. This is in addition to the early bird bonus of saving $100 for everyone who's signed up today and in the next week. So Jody Wakefield says, I cannot highly recommend the Home Detox Bootcamp enough. My family is benefiting from improved health, including that my children's eczema has disappeared which has been a very long road for us and improved sleep. I've also noticed huge cost savings and less dependency on the grocery store. Our life has been enriched far, far beyond replacing household products. And Lauren says the course has provided me with the knowledge and the tools to make my home a beautiful, healthy place. The value for money is exceptional and Laura's guidance is amazing. Finding Laura and her home detox boot camp was one of the best days of my life. I can't thank her enough. For her time and effort. So that's Lauren from New South Wales. Okay, another great thing about Home Detox Bootcamp is that when you invest, you've got my personal 21 days money back guarantee. So this is meaning after the course starts, so not obviously not 21 days from today because the course starts on the 8th of March. So once it starts from the 8th of March, you've got you've got three weeks and you can try out the course. And if you're not loving it, you can get your money back, no questions asked. Um, and I, yeah, basically to date, no one has ever done that, but I've still got that guarantee there that if it's not working for you, um, that's fine. You've got my 21 day money back guarantee. So who is this training for? You might be saying, Laura, who is this for? I already use essential oils. I do this and this. Is it for me? So basically if you're concerned about your children's exposure to chemicals in your home, or you're worried about your exposure to chemicals in your home, particularly if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, this course is a perfect fit for you. Maybe your children have eczema, asthma, dermatitis, or they might even be on the spectrum disorder and you'd love to reduce the chemical load on their bodies, then this course is a total no-brainer for you. Perhaps you'd like to reduce your family's waste and reduce your grocery bill, or you'd like to reclaim some cupboard, cupboard space and reduce the number of commercial cleaning products in your home. And this course will certainly help you achieve that as well. Or maybe you're a health or environmental professional and you're all over the why you should be doing this, but you're just being so busy working. And I know what that's like when you're so busy out there saving the environment, improving everyone else's health, that you maybe just haven't gotten around to figuring out all the why. And you just want someone credible to tell you what to do. So you can just go off and do it in your own home as quickly as possible and finally walk the talk on a healthy eco home. Well, you're definitely in the right place. And there's quite a lot of environmental scientists and health professionals in the home detox community as well. 
If you're willing to learn about natural alternatives to commercial cleaning products and are positive, open and prepared to invest a little bit of upfront time during the transition period from chemicals to, to natural alternatives or even making your own, then the Home Detox Bootcamp is for you too. And I'm almost finished and I'll get to your questions in a minute. So each module in the Home Detox membership site includes video trainings, slides, workbooks and activity sheets. You'll have lifetime access to these in the membership site. You'll also have your own username and passwords, as I've mentioned, so you can access these whenever you want after each module is released. I release each module every week. If you really want a fast track, just send me an email and I can give you access to everything up front. If that's the way you want to do, just go in and binge on everything. I, I'm happy to accommodate that as well. But generally, I just drip it every week so people don't get too overwhelmed. But there is no behind, remember. And we start on the 8th of March. So in summary, last slide to sum it all up, you can, Home Detox Bootcamp contains eight action-focused training modules to guide you towards achieving a chemical-free home. You'll also be supported through a closed Facebook community if you choose to join that and have lifetime access to the content and free updates in the exclusive membership site. And you'll get your bonus guides, SOS Stain Guide, as well as having access to the recipe index and our guest experts and myself. So at this stage, I'm undecided on when the next round of Home Detox Bootcamp is. I have penciled in later this year, but I am working on another totally new program that I'll be releasing in about July. So depending on how that goes, I'm not sure whether I'll do Home Detox again this year. So I can't really, pro I can't promise or say either way there yet. I do hope to run it again roughly in September but it's not 100% sure. So if you do want a chemical-free home, now is your time. And I really look forward to helping you create your vision for a healthy chemical-free home really soon. Now, I'd love to take any questions. So I will scroll back through the chat room and see what you've entered while you're all over it. Oops, what's happening here? Oh, we've got some more. Some more testimonials, sorry. This is Shelley from Pennsylvania in USA. We do have... Um, a growing number of people from the US and joining the Home Detox Bootcamp. And this round, um, I will be actually converting all the recipes to Imperial Measurements US to help our US Home Detoxes as well, so in brackets. So the recipes all have metric, but we'll be having the US um, equivalent as well to talk to all our US friends so they're not converting everything. But Shelly says, now I can feel comfortable about my kids crawling all over the floor and know that I'm doing all I can to keep them safe at home. I feel like I've made a small investment in both time and money and reaped a huge reward that I can continue to refine as I have time and our needs change. And uh, Kristen from Queensland says, this course means so much. I can see a bright future for my family. And if you're thinking about doing Home Detox Boot Camp, just do it because you won't lose out. I can guarantee you will definitely gain so much. Okay. All right. So I'm looking in the chat box and just let me catch up a little bit to some of these comments and questions. So if you've got any questions at all about the Home Detox Boot Camp oh, and, um, or just essential oils in general. So, oh, by the way, I'm welcoming Monica and... Stacy and welcome Merrin and Sharon as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And let's have a quick look. So yeah, Amy's bought in the US, so it was $180. So that's great to know. Whoops. Sorry, I'm just um friend just on. I just can't. So yeah, hundred so with a hundred dollars off. Yeah, hundred dollars off is limited time just for the next week. Awesome, Susie. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Joe. I would love the lemon. Yep, there's still some spots to grab the lemon. <laughs> Just having a quick look. Okay, so Susie, where are all the questions? I'm just trying to work out where I can see all the questions as we go through. All right, so how long does it... Um, now, I'm scrolling from the most recent questions down to the last. Um, hang on, no, they've all been flagged. Can you use these oils when used when pregnant? Anne-Marie. Now, I hope I answered this question during the webinar. You're 34 weeks pregnant. Um, yes, for cleaning purposes. And I said I've had that cleared with the poisons 
uh, at unit at the Royal Women's and Children's in Adelaide. I've had a, extensive conversations with them about essential oils. Um, doc, Dr. Natasha Andriadis, like I said, our guest expert in the home detox boot camp, she's a fertility expert and she just advises a little bit of caution with the clove oil, um, which is also in thieves. So I just wouldn't be applying it, getting it on your body. So like if you're mopping the floors, for example, and you just wanted to pop a drop in there, um, that's fine. Just use gloves to as a bit of an extra precaution and diffusing is not a problem as well also around kids but I just wouldn't be um pop be popping that directly on your body at all but that's obviously outside the scope of home detox anyway ah so yes you don't want to take all the koala food good point Tam um for basically the brand so perfect potion and 28 um they're all certified organic oils i believe um doTERRA and young living as well young living actually own all the farms where their oils are where all the the herbs and aromatics are grown for their um ingredients for their oils so it is all sort of farmed and it's farmed sustainably they are all organic farms that however because they're all in different countries all around the world where obviously the the plants and everything are native to that region um, and organic standards vary around the world. They can't necessarily, they can't actually label it because of the ingredients. But yeah, they are very, um, very sustainable. Okay, Marin, yes, I've got a helpful hints on the I won't budge kind of calcium buildup in shower doors and toilet bowls. There is some some different methods that I recommend in the home detox boot camp. A very basic one is white vinegar you could take off your shower head and soak it in some white vinegar um, you just want to be careful using white concentrated white vinegar on grout because it, it, it is an acid and um you want not you want to be diluting it but yeah if you're just around there that's one thing there's also i use a lot of citric acid as well in the bathroom um and some other oils as well but try white vinegar first um are these natural antibiotic and antibiotics kind of in the environment? How likely is resistance to build up? That's an interesting question, Lauren. Um, yeah, um, it's basically they are kind of on the environment. So if you're talking about if you're putting eucalyptus oil and everything down your drains and stuff, that it's because they do biodegrade and they're they're natural. They're naturally found in the environment. So it's not like a lot of a lot of the the ingredients in our chemical cleaners just can't break down in the environment because they're since they're man made man made chemicals, so they do persist. Some of them do persist. A lot of them are, you know, your phosphate detergents and things like that. Um, so in environment wise, that's that's um they're totally fine. Usage tips somewhere with the amount of oils, water needed. Yeah, all the recipes are in the Home Detox Boot Camp, Susie, but I did mention some in the call today. So particularly like that clove oil spray, um, I would be mixing a quarter of a teaspoon of clove oil to one litre of water or even like one-eighth of a teaspoon to 500 mils of water, for example. Yes, Donna, you can just put cloves in your wardrobe to stop mites eating your clothes, um, mites, um, moths and everything like that. Uh, Megan, these work the same way to clean the microwave. I'm not too sure about that because in the oven, it's basically you cook it and it's evaporating and it's putting a very fine mist on the inside of the oven. You can wipe it away. If you've got a convection microwave, I would say sure. Um, but I, I don't think I would be um, like zapping it. Sorry, I just need to take some water. <coughs> My goodness, I'm doing this webinar again tonight. <laughs> I'm not used to talking. I've got a three-year-old who doesn't stop talking, so I'm all listening to him. I'm not the one doing the talking. Okay, I'm just reading Marie's comment. I recently watched, oh, hang on, sorry, any suggestions on a knit preventer for kids? Knits, uh, actually tea tree oil is awesome for knits, um, uh, that which is a malaleuca. So I don't have the quantities in front of me, but it can just be a very fine spray, maybe just with um, one, I'd probably one or two drops of tea tree oil, no more than that, in a glass bottle of, say, 500 mils or something. Uh, I don't, I'm not too sure on the dilution there, but tea tree oil is, oil is awesome for knits. Uh, secret dog, Marie, let me read this. See, recently watched a documentary called The Secret Life of Breasts. That sounds interesting. 
highlighted the toxins we are storing in the fat cells of our breasts. Yep. Case study showed an eight-year-old boy who had man boobs, which I attributed to daily use of lavender. What's your thoughts on that? I can't comment on that, Marie, because I haven't seen that documentary, but you've piqued my interest, so I will have a look. I wonder how statistically significant or scientific those findings were. Um, bear in mind, I'm an engineer and a master of science, so I always look to see what studies because uh, what is it? What is it? It's like um, causation. Oh, I can't even. I'm tired. My kids kept me awake. It's... um. Correlation isn't necessarily causation. So it, you might have been using lavender oil, but they may not have been the fact. He could also have been in an environment with a lot of plastics, for example, which are known endocrine disruptors, which may, they something else might have led to him getting his boy boobs. But anyway, I can't really comment on that without um, looking the, watching the documentary and looking at it as well. Carpet cleaning recipe with lavender, as um, I just went through the one just just um, a, a deodorizer one is just with the bicarb or baking soda. Share your oven cleaner tips using thieves. Um, oh, if the algae says lavender has strong estrogen qualities. All right, I will read up a bit more on that. Carpet cleaning recipe with lavender. Uh, I just said just about the deodorizing. Okay, those questions about the lavender, I'll probably have to get a bit, look up a bit more on that and I'll have a chat to Dr. Natasha Andreoudis as well because she is a fertility and hormone expert. So she's an endocrinologist as well. So she, she um, and she's also, yeah, fertility specialist. So she's all over impacts during pregnancy and everything. Very, very, very common question there, Hannah, on thieves safe to diffuse in a child's room. I say, yes, I do. Um, you'll find people on the internet that will disagree, but you'll always find differing opinions. Um, always just be checking out people's credentials, um, yeah, and um, and the data that they're using if they are saying yes or no. Um, obviously, some companies will always say their products are fine, but thieves, yeah, diffusing is fine. Um Thieves, you don't want to be applying directly to the body, particularly of, of a child, um, undiluted. It's, a, it's what's called a hot oil and it can sort of burn the skin a bit. That's namely the cinnamon in it. But um, you can apply, but, you know, very, 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 very diluted. But that is, again, outside the scope of, of cleaning. Um, okay, so lots and lots of questions. Empty glass spray bottles. In um, I actually... That's one thing I didn't talk about. In the Home Detox Boot Camp, if you are popping your orders in now, as which I can see many people are, you are joining, there is a Home Detox shop and in there there's a kit with Home Detox Accessories Kit where you can buy some glass bottles. They are a bit tricky to source. So I've, um, and some of the raw ingredients I've just set up in kits in the Home Detox shop. So you can buy a kit and get, so you've got everything you, you want to get started. Um but basically, yeah, there's some bottles in there. I am upgrading them. So I've got some new bottles arriving this week with some heavy duty trigger sprays. So the ones in the shop at the moment just have, um, they're fine, totally fine, but I've got some better ones coming. Um, they'll be a little bit more expensive, but not too much. Um, sorry, Susie, missed the part how to join the boot camp. It's just, there should be an offer on the screen. If you just or at the bottom of the slide that's showing at the moment, just go homedetoxbootcamp.com, scroll to the bottom of that page. There's a lot of writing on that page and you'll find some buy buttons there so you can pay up front or do a payment plan. Sharon, you've got three asthmatic children, just what you need. Yeah, I feel for you. Um, I think that general household cleaning module with all the information on the dust and, you know, the vacuuming, vacu the vacuums I recommend and all that sort of stuff will be, will be very valuable. Oh, great. Amory, your daughter's awake, so off you got to go. No worries. Thank you so much. It works pretty well. There's so many comments. Um, thank you so much for being um, coming on the call today and asking your questions. Um, two questions. How effective are the antibac antiseptic oils? They're up around, really the, the clove and the thieves ones are really up around 99 Um Oil and water spray. How long does the oil and water spray last in the glass bottles? Um, that's a good question. Well, they're fine. Um, 
yeah, I can't really answer that because I haven't really noticed any of mine going off. I just use them and replace. And I've actually never been asked that question before, Sarah. You smart thing, you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've um, for my example, my clove oil spray, that one litre that I made is still going strong, like two foot, the one I've got at the moment for two. And thanks for joining, Merrin. Oh, yeah, Susan's got three. Okay, any other questions? So, Tam, so, Tam, you just want to see if you've come through. Um, I can't see you yet, Tam, I don't think. Let me just have a look. I'm not too sure, but there'd be a delay showing, um, obviously, I can see Susan, Susan, Joe, Carol, Francine, thanks, Francine, and Kim, and Jody and Donna. So that's all totally awesome and welcome aboard. Welcome to this awesome growing community. Um, you're going to love it. And Sharon and Merrin and Stacey and Monica as well. I will be posting some lemon oils. <laughs> um, cool. Any oils to help with fertility? That's kind of a bit outside the scope for cleaning today. Um, yeah, so I can't really answer that. But bear in mind, if you do jump into the the home detox boot camp, we'll um we'll have obviously obviously Dr. Tash is available to ask some of those questions as well. Awesome. So tomorrow, Lambrick, tomorrow. Hey, tomorrow. Oh, one. We'll, we'll, I'll finish this call now, but I'll jump off. And if you just shoot me, there's I've got an email there. Hello at lauratrotter dot com. I'll just check if yours has come through. You will receive a confirmation that's gone through correctly, but just shoot me an email and I will jump right on now and um, ch chat with you and sort that out. But thank you very, very much, everyone, for coming today. I've loved chatting with you. I really have. Um, I, as you know, I just love this topic. I'm really passionate about it and I just really love helping people to, um, to create healthy homes and, you know, just get away from some of those awful marketing messages that we're, you know, sold to all the time that we need all these toxic products in our home when we really don't and they're doing us a lot more harm than good. So thanks so much for joining me today and I can't wait to see you in the Home Detox Boot Camp or if it's not the right time for Home Detox for you now, hopefully stay on my following list and I'll continue to share some awesome free eco content as time goes on. Catch you later.